Hi, glad to have you here. This video is about the knee routine. This routine is very special because it starts right where your pain originates. How does pain arise in the first place? Because of your everyday movements that are repeated over and over, a lot of tension builds up in your body. If you never take the tension out, there will be some residual tension in your tissues. This means that this tension accumulates, the joints are pressed together, and at some point a so-called alarm pain develops in your body. This does not mean that you necessarily have damaged structures, but your body is signaling to you, something is wrong here. And that is exactly where we start. These exercises are designed to release all the tension in and around the knee. We'll start with the first exercise. Lie on your stomach and bend your left leg. Pull your foot as far as you can towards your buttocks. If you can't reach your foot with your hand, no problem at all. Take a towel or a belt, wrap it around your foot and pull your foot towards your buttocks. You can put your head down in a relaxed way. We hold the exercise there for two minutes so that you can get the best result from it. You can feel the stretch all the way up your thigh to above your knee. With this stretch, we are stretching your thigh muscles. The kneecap is in the tendon of the muscle that we're stretching. Why is that important? Well, when there's a lot of pressure on the muscle, a lot of tension pushes the kneecap against its sliding bearing and there's more pressure in the knee or maybe behind the kneecap. Behind the kneecap is also a cartilage pad. And as with other joints, if too much pressure gets on your cartilage, it can wear away over time. Cartilage and joints need pressure and relief to be able to nourish themselves. You're doing a good job. Slowly release and we'll get to the other side. Pull your right foot as close to the buttocks as you can. If you can't reach your foot with your hand, that's no problem at all. Use a belt or a towel to pull your foot in. The stretch is again at the front of your thigh to above your knee. It is also important to push your groin towards the floor. Your legs should be parallel to each other for the best stretch. When the stretch subsides, pull a little further. Make sure you only go into the stretch far enough that you're good to go for the full two minutes with me. If you feel like it's too much, then lessen the stretch a little bit, but stay with me for the full two minutes. and slowly release. Bring your right leg forward and lay your foot on its outside edge.
You don't have to go that low. It doesn't matter if your leg is higher. The important thing is that you feel the stretch on the outside of your leg over your knee. Your pelvis stays closed. That means your groin pulls towards your foot like this. Left side of the groin towards your right foot. And if you don't feel the stretch right at the beginning, try to change your position very slightly. Straighten your upper body more. Tilt your pelvis a little bit to the right or to the left. And try yourself there until you feel a stretch on the outside. To increase the stretch, either go lower with your pelvic area or push your right knee further down so there's more tension on the outside of the knee. Very good, and hold that position. Okay, slowly release and switch legs. Put your left foot forward on its outside edge. Same game. You don't have to go that low with your pelvis. It's okay if you're higher up. The important thing is, is that you feel the stretch on the outside of your leg. That stretch takes the pressure and tension out of the outside of your knee. slowly release. Let's move on to the third exercise. Take either your knee hero or even a book and place your foot on it. Push your knee towards the floor and pull your toes towards you. If you can't reach your foot yet, no problem at all. Grab your lower leg or take a towel or a belt and wrap it around your foot and then pull yourself a little towards your foot. The stretch is on the back of your leg. Again, we'll hold this for two minutes. When the stretch starts to subside a little bit, go further into it. 
Make sure the stretch is intense enough, but enough that you can still breathe calmly and evenly. and slowly release, and we'll come to the second side. Place your foot on your knee hero or book, push your knee through to the floor, and pull your toes towards your body. The stretch should be at the back of your leg. See that your stretch is intense enough and that you can keep it up for the full two minutes with me. If you suffer from knee pain, the routine is very important for you. You're freeing up all the sides of your knee this way, as well as the tension in your knee, and it's important that you do it regularly. It's recommended that you do this routine every day for a long period of time, and then you'll notice already after a week, something will change in you. Often knee pain is muscular fascial, and by doing these simple exercises, you can often manage the pain that you have. For the last two exercises, we're going to go over to the wall together. Find a place near you, set up your knee hero, if you don't have one, that's no problem. Try it without or put a book underneath. But make sure you don't slip away. The important thing is that your heel is on the floor. Take a step forward and lean against the wall. Push your entire pelvis forward so you get a good stretch in your calves. Why are the calves so important for your knee? The calf muscle starts at your femur, runs all the way down your calf to your heel, and form the Achilles tendon. That means the calf has an extremely large impact on the tension within your knee. Again, hold the exercise with me for two minutes. And you may also feel the tension of the calf all the way up high, above your buttocks, maybe even higher in your back. That is perfectly okay. That's when you release the end, so to speak, of the back chain. It can set off a chain reaction of relief. We're going to follow right up with the second exercise. 
Walk away from the wall a little bit and bend your back knee. You can feel it at the front of your ankle and at the back of your heel area of your Achilles tendon. Both are perfectly fine. Once you have the stretch in the back from the deep calf muscles, and if you feel it more in the front, then your ankle has to get used to the position. That means the structure that's between your lower leg bones gets stretched along with it. And when the stretch subsides, intensify it by bending your knees more. Almost done. and slowly release. Circle your foot, maybe shake out your leg for a second. Put your foot on the knee hero. Make sure the heel stays off the floor. And also look, whether you're standing on the knee hero, on the floor, or have your foot on a book, make sure your foot is straight and neither out nor in. That it's facing the wall nice and straight. That way you'll have the position that triggers the most intense stretch. Mars seems to want to stretch along a bit. Mars keeps coming around to motivate me. And we keep going too. You can release. We're going into the next exercise. Bring your body away from the wall a little bit and bend your back knee. Your heel stays on the ground. And again, like the other side, it may be the stretch is felt more in the heel area, or it may be felt in the front of the shank of the foot. In other words, your ankle has to get used to it, to this position. Either one is perfectly fine, no matter where you feel it more. You're holding yourself to a limit so you can stand the full two minutes with me.
And that's the last exercise too. You're almost there. If you want to subscribe to our newsletter, click on the top right. And slowly release. Again, circling your foot first, slowly moving it again. You did a great job today. You did super great for your knees. If you wanna learn more about why muscles shorten, click here. And if you wanna to subscribe to our channel, then click here.